the whole ethos of our podcast is really inspire entrepreneurship through truth. And then ultimately it's similar to what you're doing, help the brands. How do we help these small companies or, or, and sometimes we have big companies, but how do we help people connect in a different way with that brand? For us, it's like founder story. And so we hope to have events where we can do that. At the same time, I'm a real estate developer and it's, it's also a litmus test of what the market's going to do, right? What does real estate become? How have things shifted? How do we get introduced to new products besides digital advertising on Instagram or influencers or right? Like what does the future look like? And so that's what, that's what we're doing. And I wanted to talk to you because I, you know, what you're doing is something similar. It's like, this is interesting. It's, it's a really interesting. I think that's great. And I mean, as far as you're not selling things, you're not selling anything in your space, but your space is serving as marketing for what you want to sell. And that I think is the future of physical spaces. Um, Mm. I mean, our business will charge the brands a fee to participate and thus they are advertising us and that's how we make our money we would not be able to survive off of very slim margin on a three dollar bag of chips that we sell in 30 days so while i think it's important that we sell things within our space just because i think that gives a greater sense of ownership over the experience you go home it's kind of like christmas you're like sharing the things that you got and it, it also extends the experience beyond just what's what happens within our four walls Anyway, I can totally relate to and think it's a great idea as far as what you're as far as what you're doing. And I think that creating that experience really is the future. And so like we too are interested in programming and tastings and classes within our space. And that is something that we did, yeah, pre-COVID, uh, even within our pop-ups. Right. And I'm looking forward to having that return because yes, of course you can translate some of that online, but I really think that the future of physical spaces is so much about the importance of uh, the humanity of it and the importance of human connection, which is really what you can't, the only thing that you can't get online now. Yeah, that's so true. I wanted to ask you something as it relates to how has it been going for the brands? And so, you know, what happens? Are you guys, are you also thinking about becoming like a media company? I don't know if you do reviews on the products or if you guys have a YouTube channel where you promote them. So, so basically it's not just, Hey, come check out this product on this day, but we're creating content so that it lives forever as it relates to the product. How much, how much time do you spend thinking about like the media side of it? Yeah. I mean, I really do consider us a media company actually. Okay. Yeah. We advertise for these brands through our physical spaces, but also through our Instagram, through our newsletter, through the media, you know, whenever we get PR opportunities, we've got like our class of brands in the back of our minds that we're speaking to. So yeah, so that is very much how I think about us and how I think about growing the business. You're kind of like a launch pad for these brands in some way. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.